Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be checking out the entirety of the Starfire Sonorant online concert for Honkai Impact 3rd. A lot of you guys have requested this and I know that it's taken me a little bit of time to get around to it, but at the same time I'm very excited to check this out as I absolutely love the soundtrack for Honkai Impact 3rd and I think that Hoyo mix really knocks it out of the park with literally every track that they create, so I'm very much looking forward to this. Before we do so however, I do want to check out the teaser trailer for Dreamy Euphony, which is the upcoming online concert concert that happens August 27th. So with that being said, let's dive into it. Alicia looks absolutely incredible. Kiana? Ronya? May, of course. Badass rock star. Dude, this animates really well. I am super excited for this. I wonder what tracks are gonna play. It's a very short teaser, but at the same time, I'm definitely gonna be checking that out. So again, that reaction will be up uh, at some point, I guess. But anyways, with that being said, let's dive into Starfire Sonorant. There's so many great moments in this game. It's just in a league of its own. And if it shows all of these cutscenes, there may be some tears. Just gonna be a little bit of forewarning here. Reburn. Moon Halo. Okay, okay. <laughs> I guess I need to prepare myself, don't I? Ah, oh, shit. There's so many good songs. Dude, what a beautiful city. It looks incredible at night. Shanghai. Stunning. So I'm guessing this is the venue where it took place, right? The concert. And I guess we have to keep in mind as well that this took place during the... Uh, I don't want to say the peak of the pandemic, but within that time frame. There's probably no live audience. The login music? Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Um, okay, holographic Hyperion? Hell yes. Oh my god, yes. I wonder if we're gonna have any kind of like holographic uh, models popping up for the animated concert on the 27th. Dude, the lights, it was completely timed with the music. Hell yes! Kicking it off out of the gate with some rock. Love it. This would have been incredible to see live. Dude, that synth. My man. God, there's nothing like the sound of electric guitar.
sound of the clock just ticking down. Slowing down the tempo of literally everything. Almost kind of sounds like a metronome now, right? It's <laughs> slapping in the base. Hell yes. transition that is so sick I love the wall of all the images different scenes from the game let's go let's go This is a trailer, right? I've seen this trailer before. This is the Reburn trailer, if I recall. Oh nice, they subtitled it for us. Okay, perfect. That's good. Oh man, that bass line. Such a fantastic character, man. Kiana is just on the whole other plane of existence. What a voice. Hell yes. And the orchestra as well. Oh my god, yes. songs do the complete just like stop right it's so sick yes in the background just giving me tingles. Her sure the void in the background? Was it the Hersher void? I am confusing it with uh, 
moonlight or moonlit you know what I'm talking about my bad I remember the trailer I'm not stupid oh oh shit okay okay I think now we're going to get to see our Hersher of the Void. I cannot explain to you the feelings right now. The voice is just velvet. So damn smooth. Those high notes, that falsetto, perfect. of like spears to come. Yeah, okay, 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 shit, it's actually happening. Oh my god. The snap. That is so damn sick. Such control, it is nuts. That is talent. Oh shit, bears! <laughs> Bella! <laughs> what are you doing there? Oh shit. the stage please <laughs> no tornadoes please please okay we're safe we are safe oh damn man that was fantastic holy shit i was thinking we were gonna see the hersher of the void but i guess we didn't we saw her attack though right Himiko? The injection. Kiana's saving grace. That is so cool, man. Literally looks like the stage is on fire. 
That is so cool. Oh, dude. <laughs> no. Come on, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Those lyrics are 1000% how Himiko feels in that moment. And that scene will be with me forever. my heart every single time. I have to relive this. Why do you have to keep doing this to me, Hoyoverse? Best character. Best character. Can we take a moment to acknowledge how damn perfect the vocals are for that track? <laughs> Shit, man. Literally every fucking time, man. Every time. Himiko is just such a good character, and she's literally still with Kiana as our journey continues to this point. That, that's a change of pace. I was not expecting to see LED man here jamming out while I'm still trying to recuperate from that last song. But, uh, all right, man. This is like the saddest vibe I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, damn. It's pretty sick gloves, though. I don't know if I'd really want the, uh, the glasses, but... Oh, shit! I'll turn this shit up.
Love how the camera's just like going nuts too. Dude, what a hard house beat, holy shit. I feel like I should be in Europe somewhere at a club. Characters are in the background, but the color schemes kind of make me think like Sila, maybe. Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yes. This is what I was gonna need following that scene, but uh, it's helping. It's helping. Shit, yes. I need to get up and start fucking dancing. That's what I need. See, this is the kind of music that you're gonna hear in Zenless on Zero all the time. <laughs> This is sick. So sick. I love it. I absolutely love it. I am vibing right now. Oh my god, dude. Totally see myself vibing into this at a club. 1000%. This is a sick techno beat. percent if that crowd was full of actual people everyone would be going off man Got a little mix of our lobby music there right sounds like some sexy saxophone in the background too Feels like some kind of like dubstep beat right now. It's sick. I'm digging it.
Somebody's uh, on stage right now. Silhouette. Oh! Oh shit! Okay! Okay! Hanser. I'm probably butchering the name, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Hanser, right? Bronya theme? I'll be honest, I couldn't pick out the lyrics when I first heard it. All of us just like completely baffled by motorcycle Rebronia, Hersher Reason, just completely stunning me. Okay. The lyrics are good. Now that I know what's being said. It's such a hype moment in the game as well that I really appreciate. And I'm glad that I got to experience that because that section made me really appreciate Bronya. That's a fucking high note. <laughs> That's a really high note. The lay motif. You can just hear it in the background. It's so perfect. Oh shit! Was not expecting that transition. I'm sure all the Bronya fans right now are just losing it. Um, it's a sick song, what can I say? <laughs> I didn't think that I'd ever really like enjoy that style of like uh, dance music, I guess, but it fits the scene. And once you, you have context and lyrics, it's good. Where do I recognize this music from? I feel like this is a PV soundtrack. This, this is totally played in one of the PVs. recognize this music I'm not sure which one it is I'm sure somebody will let me know down in the comments but I definitely recognize this track This dude is going hard, man. Somebody count how many times I say dude in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, I, I honestly, I, I just can't. I can't help it. <laughs> it's just so damn cool. I, I'm literally at a loss for words with a lot of these tracks. It's just because it's such a good vibe, man. And I don't know. It, it's just, it just kind of overcomes my entire body. And I'm just like, yeah, let's let's rock it here. Let's jam. Oh, dude! No way. No way. 
Starfall is probably top track for me in all of Honkai Impact 3rd. <laughs> She's incredibly talented. And it's such a great turning point in the story. You get Kiana and she's just completely like beaten down and doesn't really know what to do with herself and even contemplates again maybe I shouldn't be spoiling stuff but contemplates the worst idea ever hell yes Yes. Oh my god, yes. My ears have been blessed. She gained so much strength and growth in this segment of the game. And this track again exemplifies that. She's incredibly talented. The pipes on this lady. Perfection. That is why Starfall is the best track in Honk I'm Back Third. Holy shit! I need to go back and rewatch that a billion times. Her vocals are on a whole other plane of existence. My ears are. I don't even know what to even do with myself right now. That was stunning. My god, she's talented. Again, how, did, how the hell do you follow that? How the hell do you follow that? That is the pinnacle of emotion 
for a single song and again just perfectly suited to the scene that coincides with it masterfully put together and honestly I don't know if we'll ever be able to get anything that hits that same level ever again but I've been wrong before and Hoyo Mix again always delivers Again, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm just trying to like recenter myself after just getting my ears destroyed and pummeled beautifully, albeit by Starfall. I really love the Sakura tree and the gate, uh, which again, I'm just completely blanking on yet again. Uh, my apologies guys, but this is an experience I'm having right now. <laughs> So many great stories told within this universe and literally each and every single one of these characters has so much backstory and growth and personality that it's very hard to find a game that can pull it off so damn well. I don't know if there will ever be another game that hits the same notes, pardon the pun, as Honkai Impact 3rd. guitar it just completely delivers Dude, he's so good he's so good why do I feel like this is something related to fallen rosemary I feel like I recognize it I could be wrong that sounded really cool in my headset right now. Holy shit. All of these musicians are just going ham and I'm loving it. Each and every single second of this is just... It is very inspiring. What's next? Woman,二人的相遇，从很早便已开始。但故事的开头似乎并不那么完美。那时我们并不知道前方等待我们的是什么。快闪开！不要挡我和牙医的道。is this gonna be something related to Nagazora? <laughs> the dynamic between these two characters again just perfection. And I really can't wait, as of recording this, for their eventual reunion. That is probably going to be the biggest story point that I'm looking forward to the most. Her 
Archer of Thunder. So endearing. <laughs> I think the friendship between these two characters will always transcend any circumstance. And no matter how far apart they may seem to be, they'll always have that love for one another. Auto. man our two main characters that we all love and there's no denying that they're an incredible pair Any confrontation between the two of them was only due to the love for one another and wanting to be there for each other. Let's go. I think I know what's coming. Sounds so good. Dancers? Are they gonna portray Kiana and May, possibly? All oh, the rain. Was not expecting to see any kind of like interpretive dance. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I love their outfits. Because again, obviously, you know, it's representing the two characters. I don't think there's any denying that.
It's really somber, but at the same time, very beautiful. I like that. The holy gradient. That was lovely. Yup. They're in for some, uh, some more hype, some more tingles. Let's build up the I love the bass line. Such an epic scene. That animated short is just incredible. This scene was immediately what told me, I gotta get her sure thunder. <laughs> Absolute must have. <laughs> I feel like I need to go back and replay through literally everything just because of how much I enjoyed the entire playthrough of the story and it's just so good. It's so good. And if you haven't or if you've started the game and given up at any point, go back and play through it and read and enjoy this game. It is incredible. point yet again I, I don't think there's anything that can there, anybody that can argue the talent of each and every single one of these musicians what are you up to her sure sentience One without scams. Yes. Again, when I initially watched these scenes, I kind of didn't really have any idea of what was going on with the whole, like, Hersher of Sentience and Mount Taishuan segment of the game. When I was watching, I was kind of like, eh. And I was stupid because I didn't play anything with subtitles when I was reacting to all of those trailers. So I had zero context going into it, which was kind of a blessing in disguise 
because getting to experience that chapter without knowing what the hell was going on was awesome. I feel like, yeah, this is, this is her trailer music, right? The PV. Such a great character, dude. Still relevant in so many different party compositions. Absolute must-have unit. This lady is just killing it. And I'll also have to say, I think Mount Taishuan for me was the most beautiful area that we got to travel to in Honkai Impact 3rd. And I remember so many times when I was streaming it, just stopping and staring at the environments because of how majestic the places were. And there was so much, again, lore involved with Fuhua and literally everything leading up to that point that it was such a worthwhile read. And again, just made me really grow attached to that character. Each and every single one of these characters has the tragic backstory, but I don't really know if I can properly convey how learning about Fuhua's backstory really affected me, I guess. Not that it was relatable, obviously, but I mean, at the same time, just so many years, so much time, so many memories. It's really hard to put into words, but it was very impactful. And she's an incredible character. This build up, are we gonna get something to do with the uh, the Samsara? Possibly. Shattered Samsara? Maybe? Very tranquil. relaxing Just makes me think of like a peaceful morning waking up on like a mountainside or something. I don't know. That's the kind of vibe it's just giving me. I think the ambient waterfall is just kind of doing it for me too. I don't know.
It's beautiful. This is just it's so beautiful. Hell yes. Ah oh, man, the scene. And again, this scene with context and seeing the struggles that Fuwa is just going through and then Kiana's just overbearing will and, and love for her friends not giving up on Fuwa. So good. explain to you guys the emotions that went through me when I was streaming this live I really wish I would have recorded my reaction to getting to this point because it was such a profound moment it, it literally just broke me again masterpiece not feeling like she belonged until she finally arrived at the point where she's surrounded by so many friends true friends and family beautiful and do I do I even need to say anything about moon halo do I really Fun fact, I was going to cover this song, believe it or not. But I don't feel like I got the, the right setup, I guess. Who knows? Maybe somewhere down the road. A 
My God. And the animation is just top tier for the scene. Yes. There's so many subtle things you may not notice in this animation that it's worth to go back and rewatch it a million times. And you will still discover the tiniest little details. <laughs> the glance at him, Echo. And the scream from Kiana. It was like the absolute pinnacle of the story. That moment for Kiana is incredibly important. This concert was absolutely beautiful, stunning. I don't think I really need to say any more words. I think I very accurately described everything. Um, I believe that this concert actually took place before we got the, uh, the ending for And Thus Spoke Apocalypse, which is probably why that song is not in here. But I'm guessing it may be with the... Uh, Dreamy Euphony, which is going to be airing August 27th, which I'll be very much looking forward to. Um, damn, man, what a fantastic job by the team and honestly just an incredible collection of songs that I'm so glad that I got to experience while also playing through the game and not just on their own through trailers or gameplay footage or any of that stuff. I am very thankful for all of the community that's been so welcoming for Honkai Impact 3rd and all of the support on the videos. As a small content creator, you guys have no idea how much it actually means to me. And I feel like Honkai is really the sole core of my audience. And again, it's just, it's incredibly humbling to see the success of my channel thus far. And it's thanks to you guys. And honestly, I am so glad that I got to experience this game, which was just a small thing on the radar for me when I initially looked at it, because I was playing Genshin and I was like, you know, this is really good, but it feels like there, there needs to be more. And maybe there's more to this that I'm not realizing. So I looked a little bit further and I've seen this other game by MiHoYo, Honkai Impact 3rd. So I said, you know what, I'll check it out. And I'm so glad that I did because it has been an incredible experience and one that, again, I will bring with me for the remainder of my life. It's, it's absolutely stunning. And I encourage everybody to play this game. It's, it's life-changing. And maybe there aren't any direct references outside of one or two maybe certain scenes to Genshin or other Hoyover's properties as of right now but they are connected as confirmed by the dev team so I will continue to experience the entirety of the Hoyover's going forth and trying to figure out this enormous puzzle that they put together for us I'm just I'm so happy with all of this that Honestly, I just can't wait for more. 
So I think that's going to do it for the concert. Again, I will more than likely post a reaction to the upcoming one on August 27th. If you guys would like to see that, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, let me know as well, because I'm not too sure about the whole like music reactions or whatever, but uh, maybe we'll do some Genshin online concerts or something in the future, possibly. Anyways, that is going to do for the reaction. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. So thanks again. I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Peace.